know who it is. Marty Irvin. Shout out Basketball Hustle TV. Basketball Hustle TV. It up. Oh, that's right. Great point. Teague. Well, there's ACO Teague. Sean Basketball Hustle TV. Nice to meet y'all. I'm ACO. Just wanted to come in here and introduce myself to y'all. Uh, just let y'all know a little bit about my journey. Uh, I was a Cincinnati kid, just like y'all. I came up uh, going to Cincinnati. I went to uh, Summit Country Day in high school. I was only one year. Though. I went to one of the hills. I went to Princeton before that. I was in Princeton. Are uh, oh, y'all going to Princeton? Yeah, 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 I was at Princeton. Uh, who the coach over there? Why? Why? From Hughes? Oh, uh, he the coach. You know, I, I remember when I used to go to Spring Door all the time. And they used to be, like, it started off, we used to be like 20 of us in there. Like, we was all younger. And um, so, all, like, we had enough to do but to go to the rep. So it's like 20 of us in there. And then we get to age like 13. Now it's like 17 of us in there. We get to age like 15. Now it's like 10 of us in there. And, like, the guys start falling off because, like, they see girls. The girls hanging out, going this way. They be trying to go hang out with the girls. They fast on or what? Uh, and they trying to like, they're like they're just trying to get into random stuff. Like they're just trying to get into random things, and uh, you just gotta stay focused because like in my life, like I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to play basketball. Like that's really the only thing I ever wanted to do. Like every, honestly, everything else in the world, I just want to hoop. That's all I want to do. So uh, like you just gotta stay focused. Give a like. This A is B. Most people think that it's like a line straight there. And if it ain't that, like people give up with a reality. And it's like, like that's what it looks like. You start out, you're going up, you go down, you go back, you back around, you go up this way, you come up, you get real high, you get it real a little low, then you're going back this way, you go up, you go back down, you go up, you go up, 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 down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, you get there. But like, that's like the course you gotta go to get to the route you wanna get to it. A lot of people, Is that like, the Everybody, 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 everybody. Bacon, egg, ham in there, and it'd be a little bit of sausage. Get the same thing every single day. Have them to, to go. Get the class at nine fifty-five. Class start at ten. Go to my uh, probably probably two courses in that day. Class from ten to uh, probably eleven fifteen. Next class probably start at twelve to uh, twelve to one. Then I go back to the gym, shoot for thirty minutes. Like I shoot before practice, just shooting and work out before it. It'd be like shooting and finishing and stuff in the round. I get some shots up for probably 30 minutes at the, uh, before practice started. Go back to the locker room probably about 2.15, practice started at 2.30. Walk back out on the court at probably 2.27. Uh, we are stretched, go through practice from 2.30 about 5.45, probably about 6 o'clock. Uh, so go back to the locker room for 30 minutes, wait for everybody to leave, because right after practice, everybody be in there shooting around. Sometimes people get no shots, sometimes people in there playing around. But uh, I go back out, uh, go to the locker room, chill out for like 30 minutes. Everybody come in. Call one of the managers, GA, shoot for another 45 minutes, and go back to the room that night. And by that time, like, you really shouldn't have nothing else to do but do your work and then like go to sleep. But it's other stuff you can get into, but I was never into that. So like, I just stayed focused, did my work. We had a group of guys that was like that. And it took a lot of sacrifice and to get to the uh, point that I was at. So we get out there, the line is literally like, you can see the line wrap, all, going all the way out to the parking lot. All the way around the corner, like that's how long the line was. So we pulled up, like we like, yo, like y'all see the like, y'all see the line. It's about to be lit. So now we already hype. So then uh, the game about to start. I remember I was just sitting there, like at my boy Mark. He was like running around in circles. He be getting hyped for the game. That's how he is for me. I just be sitting there, like, come on, man, like, let's just tip the ball. Like, I don't understand why we gotta do all this extra. You gotta wait for the TV to come on. The TV, you gotta wait for like the first horn. The rest standing there with their hand up waiting. Then you get the second horn, they point, then the ref walk over there and throw the tip with the uh, That's the crazy, ball. he knows that. So, uh, that's, that's, so literally right. there. that's why I'm like, he pay attention. Yeah, so I'm sitting there, I'm just waiting. I'm just rocking back and forth. So uh, I remember it was our coach told us, like we get the tip, I, it was probably 17 minutes to go in the game, so three minutes and went by. And um, our coach told us like, if they if like they said, if it's 10 seconds under on the shot clock, they're going to switch the ball screen. So I remember I had the ball and I waited 
So I dribbled the ball out, and I called the big man up because I knew they wanted to do it. Mm, I wanted I saw. So I came down, backed up, something like I got switch. As he pulled, mm. air ball. <laughs> and the crowd is sold out now. Like, the crowd is literally sold out. Like, I'm telling you, like, we're this far apart from each other, I can't hear anything you're saying. Like, that's what it looked like. <laughs> like, that's what it looked like. No lie, like, you gotta let, come this way and scream at each other. And, like, I learned uh, before this game, or, like, during this game, like, this is why you got, like, hand signals. Like, during the game, because, like, Coach Drew would be going like this. And, like, you don't know what he's calling. Like, if you're across the court and, like, he's, like, screaming the play, so, like, you gotta know the hand signals because you can't hear anything. So, um, so I remember I air ball, boom, air ball. And all I hear is air ball, air ball. Like, they're screaming at me. Like, they're screaming so loud at me. So, uh, so I remember the next time I got the ball, I remember it was like shot clock was right down. I like faked it, shot the three, and I hit it. So now I hit the three, so now I'm turned up. So now I ran back down the court, and I'll shush the crowd like this. And then they start booing me like, boo. I get the ball again, like two possessions later, I scored again. And then I get the ball again, like three possessions later, I hit another three. So now I ran off eight straight like, uh, so in like four that's minutes. That's eight points. Yeah, so I ran off like eight in the media, so now they even got quiet. And I finished the game like, I think I finished with like 17 and like six rebounds and like three assists, something like that. I had a real good game against the most sold-out crowd, and we won. But like, just to show y'all how loud it is in the game, I remember uh, during that game, they hit a three, and I think they got a dunk, and it was back-to-back. And uh, I remember, like, we were dribbling the ball up the court, and like, we was looking back. I remember I was looking back, Coach Drew, he was behind me this way. And I looked this way to get the play ball, and I remember thinking, like, yo, the ground is shaking right now. Like, that's how loud it was in there. Like, it's like 120 decibels or whatever it is. Like, it was so loud in there, but to get nervous in the crowd, nah, it makes me excited. Like, when I play the Duke, that's, that's exactly what it feels like when you're jumping. It's a small gym. Yeah. Yo, when they're jumping at Duke, and you can literally see the camera moving. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that, that feeling of, uh, it's like that whole gym is shaking. Right? <laughs> each, of them, each one of y'all are champions. She is a champion in Finland. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not learning things. I know. Oh, MVP. She's a, she's a champion in Cincinnati. You want a state title, right? Oh. Close enough. Right? <laughs> Final four. Like she, she is. This is talent right here. She wants. She winning national titles. The same, you know. But humble is humble. Humbleness is one. I learned that early in high school from a nun. Sherwin walked this earth humbly, and y'all walk this. Y'all want to brag and y'all want to showcase y'all talent. Nah, you showcase your talent on the event in the event. You know, in, in, in that in that battle war. But y'all, y'all gotta start putting y'all, let y'all, let they words guide y'all, man. Basketball, Basketball Hustle, Hustle TV. TV.